So we're going to add five coats of incisal liquid and five coats of dentin liquid. So we want to cover the entire restoration with at least five coats. So we've got our, our uh, transition line here. We've created two lines, one closest to the occlusal and one closest to the margin. So the first three coats of enamel are going to go all the way down to the line closest to the margin. The last two coats of enamel are going to go down to the line closest to the occlusal. In the end, it'll give us five full coats here in the incisal area and five full coats on the occlusal of the restoration. In the transition zone, we'll end up with only three coats of enamel. Then when we put on the dentin, we'll put our first two coats of dentin all the way up to the line closest to the incisal and our last three coats of dentin all the way up to the line closest to the margin. In the end we'll end up with five coats of dentin in this area below the lowest line, five coats of enamel in, this, in the incisal area above the highest line, and in the transition zone we'll end up with five coats, three of which are enamel and two of which are dentin. And this will help us create a nice smooth transition, visual transition from dentin to enamel without any harsh lines.